Welcome back to our channel, Kentucky Fried Fun. Today, I am participating in the Big Purge Challenge. Don't leave me here forever. Don't let me be alone. Just you and me together. This Big Purge Challenge is being hosted by Heidi and also one of my favorite YouTubers, Kristen, over at Kristen's Chaotic Life. I will have the links to both of their channels up top as well as down in the description box and definitely be sure to go check them out. I have been following Kristen for quite a while now and I absolutely love her channel and as well as Heidi. I just recently discovered her but I'm so excited that I did so because I personally love them I know you should go check them out and subscribe. If y'all love to declutter and give this video a big thumbs up, if you're coming over from the challenge, welcome. I'm so glad that you decided to click on my video out of that big, huge playlist. I haven't even seen the playlist yet, but I know it's going to be big. Um, and I also, besides decluttering, I obviously love to do cleaning videos. I've been doing a ton of decor related videos and other lifestyle type videos. As always, if any of that interests you, head on over to my channel, browse through it, and consider subscribing. Once you have subscribed, because you know you want to, click that little bell because I will also be participating in a bunch of decor videos next week. I have a fall related one coming out on Sunday as well as a Christmas one coming out on Wednesday. So whether you are still um, enjoying fall, which I am, or if you are ready and raring to go for Christmas, be sure to click that little bell because I have a video for either one of those. For this challenge, Heidi and Kristen were wanting us for 10 days to take a different room and they even gave us a sheet, which I was able to get printed in color, and go through each day and there was, you could do all the boxes or you could just pick one area or however much you could do. Set your timer for 30 minutes, which I honestly didn't necessarily do that. I probably spent more than 30 minutes. But hey, I got a lot done. I got a lot purged. And go through each day and declutter and get some stuff out of our houses. So let's see what I got out of our house. For day one, the category room was the kitchen. I started off in the fridge, the first box on their little checkoff sheet, and we didn't have any expired items. I have recently done a declutter and reorganization video of that, so I'll leave that linked up top, but I will turn you all around and show you what I did find in the rest of the categories. So for the next category was drawers. Go through all your drawers, and that I did. These towels, I have way too many, and this this one isn't white anymore. This one has bleach spots. This washcloth goes with that towel and then this one I've never really liked. This I only have one green fabric napkin so I don't know what I would do with just one. These um, I like them but I have not used them and they are just taking up space in my drawer. Then over in my big utensil drawer, I got these as a wedding gift and I hate to get rid of them, but we haven't been using them. We actually got a nice metal one. This is all rusty. I don't know how that happened. This, I honestly really don't know what it is. Here's some random bags, some clips, magnets. Um, another section they had us do was cups, and I went through our mugs and our cups. This one we don't need anymore, and I reorganized inner cups and just didn't have room. Then I do have some stuff I will be placing in other areas of the house that didn't belong in the drawers. And then this is the trash that I have come up with so far. Day three is to go in the garage and go through cardboard, old home decor. So my main objective for this one was the cardboard. Over here, this box and this box I'm going to be using for this project. I'm going to use that one to put all my recyclables in. And then I'll use this one to put like move elsewhere, like that type of thing. And also the recycling um collab that I'm in. And this y'all is all the boxes, well most of them, that I'm going to be getting rid of. As well as all of these boxes. And look at this guys. I didn't even know 
This was in one of the boxes. So I'm so glad that I did this project. Day four is books. We don't have any kids and we've only been married four years. So I, and I did recently go through our books, but I did find three books, this one, and then these two teaching books that I had when I was in college. So for day four was to go in the bedroom and look like under the bed and we don't have anything under the bed um also like dresser drawers was mentioned but i have recently gone through a dresser drawers and refolded all the clothes and got rid of some things so another thing was like storage bin storage type places and one place is my basket of flip-flops that is overflowing so i decided to go through there and very very hard decision. I love my flip-flops. I love my rainbow color flip-flops, but I decided these Michael did find once for a good deal. Or I think it was even free. And I like th them, but they're not always the easiest to put on. And so I'm not going to keep those in these red ones. I do like the idea of having red, but I honestly didn't wear them all summer. And then these are Dollar Tree ones. And while I do like them, I don't need them. Um, I have another set of Dollar Tree, and so I just decided to get rid of those as well. So for day six, we were supposed to go through toys and games, and to be honest, I really didn't do that. Um, we don't have any kids, but after I had gone through all the cardboard in the garage, that inspired me and spurred me to keep going in the garage. And I worked through all of our storage bin that contains a lot of my decor. So I would say for my toys, I am, oops, I wanna keep that actually. I am getting rid of a bunch of Easter eggs and some grass, colored grass, the baskets, I just, I was holding on to them because, you know, I want to have kids, obviously, but it's not happening as, as soon as I was hoping, so I have decided to go and get rid of them, and then that way when we do have kids, the Lord blesses us with kids, then I just go out and get some more, because it's not like they cost that much. And then for the next day, which is supposed to be in the bathroom, <laughs> and again, I was so busy working on the bins, here is some more decor that I actually am getting rid of. If anyone who is a friend of mine is an Ohio State fan wants this, let me know. It's an album. Anyways, but I did have these two things that have been out of the bathroom since I got, my husband got me a new hair dryer last year for Christmas. So yes, it's November and I have not gotten rid of them. They've been in the garage ready to get rid of, but they have not gone out of my house. So I'm counting that as my two bathroom things, my old hair dryer and this thing that I was using to hold my hair dryer, but now I have a hair dryer where the cord like gets sucked back into the hair dryer, if that makes sense. And so that's what I'm including as my two things for bathroom day. So for my closets, I actually had a little bit of a hard time, hard to believe I know, but I have recently went through all of our closets this year and I'll try to leave as many of those videos down below if you want to check those out. So I decided to go underneath the stairs and we have this set of suitcases. There's actually, sorry for the grainy, it's dark in here. Um, another one in there, a three set that my parents got me for our grad my graduation. And then we have this one that's Michael's and it's older and I just asked him, I've been wanting to get rid of it, but I've been holding on to it. And he said it would be fine to get rid of. So that's going to be my item for the closets is this old suitcase of Michael's. For bedroom day, I am going to be moving these things elsewhere. Then this is the jewelry I went through that needs to be either like um, soaked in some jewelry cleaner or just repaired. Then over here is what I'm going to be throwing away. Just some basic, well, I don't think I'll throw this away. And then all of this, I'm getting rid of that. And then all of this jewelry, necklaces, that bracelets that I just haven't worn. And these earrings, again, missing a jewel out of the one. So, feeling pretty good. For living room day, one of the things to go through 
was a magazine, so I took this time to go ahead and go through our paper, and I was able to clip some coupons as well as get rid of this huge pile of paper, get our paper organized, and it just feels so good. So all of this is going in the trash. So for the last day in the garage, this is stuff that I've been planning to take to Goodwill to donate and haven't done that, so that is all going to Goodwill today. I hope y'all enjoyed seeing all that I decluttered. I know I'm super happy to get rid of that stuff. I'm always, I always love going through and decluttering. I like Kristen, it gets me excited. And I hope that gave y'all some motivation to get rid of some of your stuff. This is the perfect time, or uh, well, maybe after Thanksgiving, because at this point you're probably ready and getting all ready for Thanksgiving. But before Christmas hits, because then you're gonna be getting more stuff in for Christmas and then afterwards you don't have to worry about it as much at the beginning of the year and I just I love that idea I love getting a head start on it that way I can have more of a fresh start at the beginning of the year if y'all love decluttering give this video a big thumbs up if you are new to our channel as always subscribe click that little bell and share with others so other people can get rid of stuff out of their house too. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a blessed Friday and happy weekend. And bye. The trash can is full to the top with cardboard. <laughs>